to press on. It did look on paper like things were truly falling apart for the Allies, and French General Franchet Desperé, aka Desperate Frankie, ordered the French 5th Army to abandon Rennes. However, the commander there disobeyed orders and remained, and stopped the Germans. They would try further attacks there, but they would fail. Also, June 3rd, the Germans crossed the Marne using enormous ladders, which they telescoped and then laid across the river. It was clever, and the ladders were wide enough for two men to cross side by side, and they established a machine gun bridgehead, but two American divisions were now at Chateau Thierry, under 10 kilometers away. And they attacked the bridgehead together with French colonial troops. The Germans were forced to swim, or rowboats, back across the river. That same day, the Americans engaged the Germans at Belleau Wood. And the next day, and the rest of the week, they would spend the next three weeks fighting to try and take the wood and block one of the German avenues towards Paris. Fighting was especially heavy the 6th. A morning assault west of the wood captured Hill 142, and a later attack captured Boresh, but at a cost of 1,087 casualties. That day was also notable for gunnery sergeant Dan Daly crossing a wheat field under German machine gun fire, famously yelling to his men, Come on, you sons of bitches! You want to live forever? The Third Battle of the Ain officially ended that day, with casualties of around 130,000 for both sides. The German casualties, though, were mainly from assault divisions, and those were becoming more and more difficult to replace. German Quartermaster General Erich Ludendorff was now hastily planning to launch yet another offensive next week, beyond Soissons to the west. The French knew this because on the 3rd, they cracked a German radio code and learned the plans. They knew just what was coming and where. And another German secret was revealed this week. 